Hello everyone, welcome to Buybags. I'll be your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Horror Heaven 77. And um, we're coming up on it, folks. This is the week of Thanksgiving, so yeah, let's do another movie about cannibalism. Why not? The movie I decided to talk about today is a British horror film from 2008. It's called Gnaw. And uh, it's nice to have your friends for dinner. <laughs> the movie... Um, Pretty much it starts off, it even says here on the back of the box, uh, according to official UK statistics, more than 210,000 missing persons reports are filed every year. Some cases are never solved, which pretty much kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to be getting into in this movie. Uh, the story, we open up with, um, with the way a lot of horror movies do. You have this uh, throwaway character that is being stalked by this, you know, Big, tall, lurking, lumbering, psychotic, psychopathic killer. And uh, she's trying to get away. And, um, you know, she's tripping over everything, trying to crawl away. Doesn't exactly make it. And uh, he pretty much picks her up, takes her back to his slaughterhouse, pretty pretty much. And um, ties her down to a table and, you know, continues to disembowel her. Then that's the opening of your movie. So then we meet our main characters. We got six main characters. Uh, we have uh, Ed and Hannah. We have Jack and Jill. I'm not kidding. Two of the characters' names are Jack and Jill. And we have uh, Lori and Matt. Now they're all on. They're having a holiday. They're just going out for a weekend in the country, trying to have fun, have a little getaway. And uh, basically, they're kind of your. They're kind of your typical horror movie, uh, really unlikable douchebags, um, kind of characters. They're pretty much just, you don't really care about them very much. They're just characters pretty much. They're just, you know, lambs to the slaughter and, you know, they're going there and th there's a little bit of drama here and there. You have Matt who he's crazy about Lori. That's the thing. Lori is okay. Lori is kind of like the emo kind of goth chick and, She's kind of, you know, always wearing black, kind of moody and stuff. And when we first meet her, uh, she's throwing up. And, uh, you know, and the thing is, is like all the guys are nuts about uh, nuts about Lori. And we, you know, we find out that, uh, you know, you got so you got the kind of like the goth emo chick. You got the kind of preppy stuck up girl, which is uh, uh, Jill. You have uh, uh, Ed and Hannah, who basically they're the. You know, they're the little horn dogs. They're the ones that are just there to screw and screw and screw. Just lots and lots of sex all the time. Um, you know, and then you got um, Jack, who pretty much he's the major douche that, you know, he's that guy you see in lots of horror movies. Like, this is the guy you just can't wait for him to get killed. You know, just he's he's always an asshole. He's kind of like a, you know, he does the practical jokes, but he's not very good at them. So just you know, just kind of like your typical cliche horror movie characters. And they go to, uh, it's, it's like a country estate, kind of a bed and breakfast kind of a thing that's run by Mrs. Obadiah. I think I pronounced that correctly. And their main, the main thing that she loves to do for everybody is she loves to make them steak and kidney pie. And, uh, big surprise. Guess where, you know, guess what's in the steak and kidney pie, you know? I don't think I have to tell you since it's right there on the freaking cover, but you know, <laughs> there you go. And then we have this character here, this big, tall, lumbering kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people agree with me in a way. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the character of Lurch, the trolley boy in Hot Fuzz. The one who's like, yarp. You know, he kind of reminds me of him. You know, he's tall. He's lumbering around. Uh, he wear, you know, sometimes he wears a mask to stalk his victims, um, he uses, you know, all of his tools are kind of like butcher's tools. He uses, you know, giant meat cleavers, um, uh, kind of like pitchforks, uh, knives, chainsaws, all that kind of stuff to dispatch his victims. And so he's basically going after them, taking them all down one by one. And he's grinding them all up and, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it's not giving away too much, but I mean, it's like 
the thing is, though, is like it's never really stated it in the movie if if uh, he's the son of Mrs. Obadiah. It's never. They're just working together, you know. It's never really established if they, if they're any kind of family or mother's son. It's never really. It's never really explained. But anyway, so yeah, so there's uh, lots of blood, lots of gore, you know. So yeah, if you're a gore hound, this movie's definitely gonna. This is gonna, you know, cure your sweet tooth. And, uh, you know, a lot of blood and carnage and, you know, what's funny is, it's like now you see these kind of movies coming out of the UK, these, you know, really blood and gory, you know, just, you know, gruesome, trying to be really, trying to be really intense. It, the movie is intense. Don't get me wrong. It is an intense and gruesome little flick, but it's just, you know, it, it's funny to see that now British films are really trying to, are trying to do this when, you know, you think back to the video nasty scandal where they were trying to ban like every gory horror movie that they could evil dead chainsaw massacre you name it they were trying to ban it so it's like now it's funny to see that they're actually trying to make these kind of movies overall the movie it's it's an entertaining watch it's a good 90 minutes um it is brutal it is intense um the only problem i say is just it really is it's kind of just really just a British Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's pretty much all you're really getting with this. I'm not saying it's not worth a watch. I mean, if you're into the you know movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you probably enjoy this. Um, overall, I like it. Um, you know, it's just, that's the problem. Just for me, it's like, well, if, if I want to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm just going to go watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But still, you know, there's plenty of blood and gore in this movie to keep you into it. Um, the cast, you know, I'm sure because it's a British cast, I'm sure that they're great actors and actresses, uh, just maybe not the best material in the world to work with, but I think they do the best they can with what they got. Just unfortunately, just your whole group of characters here is completely unlikable and they're just, you know, like I said, they're pretty much just meant to be lambs led to the slaughter. The, uh, the slaughterman, that's what he's called the slaughterman. He's yeah, he's big and imposing. Um, he's creepy. He's, but, uh, you know, I mean, he, he doesn't have the same kind of a, of, a of a frightening presence that like a leather face would have, but still, you know, I mean, he is, he is pretty scary, you know, it's like, and because he's big and tall and strong and everything, you know, it seemed like he could take you down pretty easy. So, so definitely a formidable foe to say the least, but I would definitely say, yeah, if you like it, you know, if you want something good and gory, you know, you like your kind of, even though it's British kind of backwoods, if you like your kind of backwoods cannibal movies, um, you know, movies in the, you know, stories in the vein of, like I said, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Motel Hell or um, Sweeney Todd, things like that, then yeah, I think you probably like this. Just, but like I said, just don't expect a lot of great character development or anything like that. But, Overall, I say, yeah, you know, give it a watch. It's it's a good entertaining 90 minutes. So, so anyway, that's pretty much about all I can say about it. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm done here. Probably the sh one of, if not the shortest reviews I've ever done for the channel. So anyways, uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I also hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the Body Bags channel. There's a different reviewer, one for every day of the week. We all have different guys, one for every day of the week. I'm the Friday reviewer. Different guys, we're all doing really good stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Have a good night. Bye-bye.